This is one of the little legends about the birth of this character. There are several uh, legends, contradictory, all apocryphal legends in a way. Nobody knows quite how he was created or how he appeared. He was created by God's nightmare. What exactly that is, I try to define through the length of the poem, or the succession of poems. It's something outside God, outside the God that created man, or the men we know. So the crow is a sort of um, extra man, a shadow man. He's a man to correct man. But of course he's not a man, he's a crow, and he never does quite become a man. For most of the adventure, having been created, he's put through various adventures and disasters and trials and ordeals. And the effect of these is to alter him not at all, then alter him a great deal, completely transform him, tear him to bits, put him together again, and produce him a little bit changed. And maybe his ambition is to become a man, which he never quite manages. Crow's the most intelligent of the birds. He's, um, he lives in just about every piece of land on earth. And there's a great body of uh, folklore and proverbial lore about crows, of course. No carrion will kill a crow. The crow is the indestructible bird who, suffering everything, suffers nothing, like Horatio.